I started the mother company because I felt that there was a need in the world for smart, healthy, beautiful, enriching entertainment for children that focused on social and emotional learning. So really, as a parent, I wanted a tool to help me be a good parent for my children and help my children be good people. And the whole mission around the mother company is helping parents raise good people. When I had a child, everything changed, as it does. And the more that I was exposing her to shows on television, the more I realized that the shows she was watching were making her crazy. You know, in, in its pacing or in its um, tone, in its colors, everything was very in her face. And I really needed something that spoke to her in a gentle way, touching on topics that are important to her, that are relevant to her life. How to make friends, how to get along with a sibling, how to keep herself safe. So I went to Costco and I bought a camera and I was hell-bent on making this children's show myself. But I had never made a children's show before, so I reconnected with my friend Sam from high school uh, through Facebook and we had coffee. At the time, my son was three years old and she started telling me about this idea to create you know, a healthier alternative to what was on TV and provide resources for parents based around social and emotional issues with their kids. And I was like, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it in my own life so much. I too had had the experience of Jack watching things on TV that literally made him hyper crazy, you know, sort of bouncing off the walls. And I in particular know what a teaching tool, what a powerful tool media can be. So why not use it to make something that's actually helpful to parents? And I asked her to take a look at the business plan and to read the script and really advise me on how to make a children's show that would be more beautiful than any children's show that was out there. And I think the first thing she said was, put down that Costco camera. <laughs> Ruby is an art teacher. She's the dream babysitter you always wanted for your kids. She's lovely and magical, but also grounded and speaks to children like they're fully formed human beings. She welcomes children into her art studio and none of the children in the show are scripted, so it doesn't feel false or saccharine. It feels really real and almost documentary-like, but fun. They talk about the importance of learning how to share, how to delay gratification, wait for your turn, how to make friends, and that kind of stuff as being way more important than traditional literacy. We're reiterating the kind of lessons that parents try to teach their kids every day, like how to be a good person. ABCs and 123s will come in time, but if you don't lay the foundation to help your kid become a good person, what's the point? Indeed, being a mompreneur is a delicate juggle, and I'm constantly trying to find the balance between work and family, and oftentimes in today's technology, work and family are combined, but we try and check our tech at the door so that I can really focus on my kids when I'm at home with them, and then when I'm at work, I'm fully at work. For many years, my daughter would ask if I liked my job more than I liked her. And it was a really difficult moment for me as a mom to think about why I was working so hard. It's never really been about money. It's always, I, I explained to her that it was really about having ideas that help people. And for her, that was an answer that resonated because she has ideas too, and when she grows up, I want her ideas to help contribute good to the world. I would say my advice for moms who are interested in starting a business is make sure that you are creating a business that really matters to you. You're probably not gonna take a salary for many years. You're probably gonna be working a lot. Um, yes, for your own hours, but all hours that are your own, essentially. <laughs> What keeps me going as a mompreneur is the response that our shows and our website gets with parents and kids. There is nothing more gratifying than hearing from a parent that you have helped their child become more communicative or self-aware. If we could reach a generation of children who have grown up with Ruby Studio and who say that that really inspired them and gave them permission to communicate better with their peers or express themselves about their emotions or help them keep them safer. I think that that would be an incredible legacy to have had.